Even your intellect follows that. There is nothing, a kind of nothingness. The mind is totally concentrated. Clockwise in the clockwise direction. And then center of the triangle, then Om Shanti. And this, this step you can do even during the day, virtually. Now, do nothing, remain as you are. Do I say do nothing, remain as you are? The mind is always alive. It has a right perception, or still something is left. What is right perception? Real self. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both of arms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Know your experiences and bring the hands down. How are you, Brandy? I'm great, thank you. Um, my practice today was really spacious and peaceful, and I liked that uh, triangle. You know, it was that was a nice um, part of the yeah. practice to focus. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, yes, you rightly pointed out. It's a it's a dynamic focus. You know, when we say that in modern psychology, focus on this object, we struggle. So here we do not struggle. We are moving in there. That's a very beautiful uh, concept of Tantra that we'll talk later. Wonderful. How are you, Lara? It was also really quiet and spacious. And I liked the triangle, although I kept making it a circle. Um, <laughs> So it just went, it kept going, it would go triangle and then I went whoop. But I, you know, I just kind of laughed at that. And I had a lot of orange today. I hadn't have, had colors during these meditations in a while. So a lot of orange. You, you all like triangles, you don't like me. It's okay. I like triangles. <laughs> How are you, Stephen? <laughs> uh, I'm good. Um, it was very quick. Um, the first part of the meditation was, was effortless. 
uh, we got to the triangle and my focus on the triangle was um, very interesting because the triangle, um, as I continued to go around the triangle, it kept getting bigger. Um, and as it got bigger, the, the, the I felt this warmth within my heart center. Um, and then I noticed some, um, when, when I started to drop the Om Shanti, it was, um, I know that there were visions starting to come, but I could not tell what they are or what they were about um, yeah. because it was almost as if I wasn't supposed to look at them. Um, sure. and, and it was the way that I, I, I remember it. It was like a telev an old television set that like the, it was turning on and then I was going to, I was trying to look at the vision and someone just shut the TV off and it just faded to black. And I was like, okay, I, I belong on the outside of my triangle right now and um, drop my Om Shanti and just take it for what it is. I'm sure there's more to come. So more to come. Beautiful, Stephen. One thing that I did not uh, talk, I wanted to say. You will discover that in this meditation on the triangle, the mind will change the size, color texture of these triangles and they are nothing but the mind in the user let the time come when it becomes big it becomes small it disappears it has many colors and ultimately what is left is our essence but it does not mean that in this this is a part of the delusion does not mean that it does not indicate something so when the triangle is definitely bigger the mind is expanding mind becomes what it sees so it's a kind of an expansion so how are you sam i'm good uh the niyasa was was very effortless a lot of good energy i was very absorbed in that to the point where you know i couldn't even really tell if i was breathing or not um in a good way just so absorbed and um all of that and the the triangle was a, was a little bit difficult because i was so absorbed yeah. in whatever yeah. i had been in but uh that's okay and yeah but i feel very relaxed in this again this feeling has been extending itself throughout the day so beautiful that's a beautiful not you know there are emotional people there are people who focus on the knowledge part so the experiences with the triangle varies from person to person i give you one uh, sense of uh, one example i say sam so mind picturizes the entire image of the Sam in dots. Then only I recognize Sam or Stephen or Brandy or Lara. So we have summarized this only to one triangle. Name and the form. So we are going into the form based on Tantra, but then we will go to the name also. How are you, uh, Barbara? I'm very good. I'm very good. That was a very deep meditation for me. Um, I too saw it within the triangle, I saw it like a circular motion, and it was almost like a funnel, and I was going deeper and deeper. But then towards the end of the meditation, I got a phone call, and it was someone I hadn't heard from in over a year and they left a really really long message but it oh. didn't it didn't interrupt my meditation at all it was almost like there were two worlds it was the inner world and the outer world and i just stayed in this piece and it was lovely that is a beautiful reflection you see this is how we have to live day by day. outer world the mind says, no, you are in a delusion. But now the mind knows. I'm aware of it. Honey, I love you, but I love you only for the sake of myself. 
Did you understand? Even if not, it's okay. How are you, Bo? <laughs> Hello. Well, during this meditation, I felt a couple of interesting things. Uh, first of all, I felt this and this moving together. Hmm. And that sort of showed up in a few ways. There was a triangle and the circle around it started getting three-dimensional and moving into a spiral in order to integrate. Um, I started the class with a pretty bad headache today. Oh. I don't have one now after that meditation. Very good. And it's so beautiful that something went right. <laughs> Neither head nor headache. Just Both right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful, beautiful. I will talk in detail about what uh, she is saying uh, about the triangle and uh, different aspects. So we will continue. So, but that is really good. It is helping. So, how are you, Webhub? Sir, I'm good. It was peaceful. Uh, like just in the end, it was start feeling like that something is pressing my chest. So otherwise, it was fine and good. Fine and good. Very good. And uh, anesthesia. Not anesthesia. OK. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it was very, uh, very deep. And I was feeling like I'm falling apart. And my mind, um, my mind is pretty angry with me uh, because he doesn't like to change. He doesn't like what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, uh, during the during my praxis now, sometimes it disturbs me. Like it prevents me. I, I understand that something inside of me prevents me to go deeper. Like I'm scared to lose, I think it's because of a great attachment with my body. I'm scared to disappear in the space, yeah, yeah. to be a space. Yeah. So, and it's constant. When I start going deeper, my mind, then I suddenly feel a squeeze in my stomach or I start to feel my um, bones or something, some mm -hmm. physical feelings. These are the reaction caused by the mind in delusion. It may happen to any one of us. So we have to continue the journey. But gradually that sense of attachment, which is one of the major factor of the delusion, will go slowly, will go slowly by regular practice. How are you, Sangeeta? Good. She went deeper and deeper and she felt as if the triangle is becoming deeper and deeper. From the new year, we are going to take up some of the principles which will help us to dissolve and destroy this delusion. Why? Right. Mind remains clear all the time, 24 by 7. Outer situation condition, people, relationship, they do not dictate my mind. So one part of the delusion goes up. That is what we are. We, we have to work. And the second part of the delusion, which, 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 you know, creates a veil over the real self. And that veil is nothing because of ignorance. So that will be removed by the knowledge, by listening, by understanding, by living into that aware. Good wishes. Anything that you want to ask? I, I, the universal law, that's energy, right? And just how everything is vibrating with energy and is shifting with energy. 
it is like sun and the sun rays so sun rays are the universal laws that manifest from the real self but Second based on vibration and energy it has nothing to no 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 you see that what is that vibration or energy when the eyes follows the law of perceiving the name in the form but what if you're not using the senses and you're using that the other senses so you no know, there's i know we have the five main senses and then there's 21 other senses I can, I'll send you research if you're questioning. I, it, oh, no, no, you send me the research. If it is a scientific research. It's scientific. So then what happens? The science does not know if there is a real self or not. Right, and but it's the other perceptions. For them, the existence is matter. And the matter is energy. And energy cannot be conscious. So there is no consciousness. But if they say that energy, consciousness is a product of energy, then, then there is no way we can find who we are. Then we are constantly in motion. We are changing. There is nothing that is real self. But isn't that it anyway? No? OK. I got to ponder that a little bit. I got to go because I got to get to my class. But you have to, you have to see the Eastern wisdom, what we are searching, subjective reality. I think this research actually came from India. I have to go back and find it, but I got to go because I got to go teach. Send me, Bye. send me, we will talk about. Okay. Yes, that is all. Anything more? That is all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. There is Thank a big you. hole. Science says there is a big hole, but without the space, you cannot have a big hole. Big Bang.